How's it going, YouTube? What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, so uh, we're out here on the Olympic Peninsula, just uh, having a good time. Uh, got this real nice uh, camp spot <clears throat> right in the middle of a dry riverbed. And, uh, you know, we were sitting here, we were talking about um, John's rooftop tent and my ground tent, and we thought that we would uh, maybe do a little video and... and uh, Explain what we like about both, what we don't like about both, what our experiences have been. Yeah. Um, uh, I have the uh, the Gazelle T3 ground tent, and John, you have... It's the Smitty Bill Overlander. So uh, I think we both like them. Yeah. And uh, both have gotten a lot of use out of them. I probably got about 30 nights into uh, my Gazelle. Yeah, probably about 10-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that uh I love it. It's funny, Michael loves he Michael never go rooftop tent and I'll never go ground tent. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Well and one reason is uh if you've watched the channel at all, you've seen that uh my Jeep JK is a soft top. I'll tell you what, I don't think I'd ever go for a hard top. So I'm kind of I'm bound to a uh a ground tent. So John, what's uh what are some of the things that you really like about having a rooftop tent? Yeah, well, I think the the most obvious is the fast setup, right? I mean, that's kind yeah. of what a lot of people look into a yep. rooftop tent for, right? And yep. it's not the hard shell, which, I mean, the hard shells are the best, obviously, but it, they're really expensive. Well, yes and no, right? Like, I feel like the, the, the hard shell, what you give up is space. I know your your yeah. soft shell isn't real real spacious well, compared to some. But yeah, and they make the XL version of, yeah, of mine. Which my friends the Odell's have. Yeah. That and it's huge. Yeah, with, with mine, the regular Overlander, I think it's like 1200 bucks MSRP. Yeah. Um, And, you know, it says it sleeps two to three. You, you, you can definitely get two in there for sure. Yeah. Three you could, but you're going to be nut to butt right <laughs> uh yeah and i mean and and usually the clamshells are a bit smaller there's bigger ones um but th you know we'll we'll kind of get into that i guess we might as well um the bigger the tent on on the roof is you're gonna have more weight you're gonna have more mass you're gonna have um well that's one thing you know when we were talking about this earlier we didn't even talk about is how much weight you have on top of the vehicle mm -hmm. you know when you know i've seen vehicles with rooftop tents and they they just feel a little bit top heavy at times yeah you know and that so yeah in, in my case so you can get um you know different size uh, racks and i have a gladiator obviously so in my case i have the 12 inch uh rack you can also get an 18 inch which is like cab height the thing that's nice about the 12 is, you know, you mount the tent and it's a little bit higher than the cab, but it's not way up there. So, you know, yes, you still get a gas mileage reduction, not only from weight, you just wind stick resistance. wind resistance. Yeah. If you had a cab height rack and you put the tent on top of that, yeah. it's going to be way worse. And you know what? That looks hokey too. Yeah, it looks I've weird. I've seen that on a few different vehicles <laughs> where where the the tent is sticking up 12 inches above the cab and it just looks hokey yeah and geez man they must really suck for gas mileage yeah and that's the problem um you know because if you got a forerunner or or a, a jeep jk or jl or not a gladiator you're you ha you're forced to put it on yeah. top you're yeah. gonna have that wind resistance but you know the clamshells do help with that obviously they're they're a bit more aerodynamic and whatnot yeah. usually they're slimmer in design versus you know the soft shell ones yeah so specifically on the <clears throat> on the smitty belt have you noticed any quality issues no i haven't you know zippers are good materials good yeah it's all yeah. been it's all been good and yeah. you know i bought this used for 600 bucks and um that's the way to go if you're yeah. if you're looking at them and you're on a budget yeah look Ch used, check out yeah. offer up or facebook yeah. marketplace or whatnot um Cause that was a deal. Yeah. And you know, it wasn't very, I don't think it was used very hard before I got it. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah. But it was yeah. definitely used. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, it's, it's been great. I haven't had any leaks or seam issues or zipper issues or anything so far. Do you have any condensation issues? Yeah, I do yeah. need condensation. You know, I have the same, same issue in the gazelle. Um, you know, I don't know if, 
if there's better tents out there that don't have that issue i think it's just an issue you deal with and you know in the gazelle even right now i'm the only one sleeping in it i sleep up right up against the wall just by <clears throat> habit and i do get a little bit of that condensation mm -hmm. i think it's just something you have to deal with yeah yeah I think especially in our case in the in the PNW. Yeah. You know, we get gets really misty at night. Yeah. And really wet air. Oh, especially out here. Yeah. Jeez, you know, we've been out here for the you know, this is our third day. And uh you know, we're out here on the Olympic Peninsula and it's it's just misty all the time. Mm -hmm. Right now it's kinda of clear. Yeah, it's almost humid. Yeah. Yeah, but geez, last night. Yeah. You know, and, and look for that video. There will be a video up of this weekend. Yeah. Um, you can see the mist in the air right in front of your face. Yeah, yeah we got some really cool shots of, of the mist rolling yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, um, you know, like I said, one of the main reasons I have I have a ground tent to begin with is because I have a, a soft top, and which I love, you know, being able to pull the top down getting that that full view of the trees and the sky and, and all of that uh, and when I first started my first weekend overlanding I had a basic $40 three or four person ground tent um, and the reason I went with the gazelle is because of the fast setup uh, you know realistically John and I can set up our tents in about the same amount of time yeah it's amazing how yeah. fast that thing sets up yeah you literally just pull <clears> out <throat> the sides all four sides push out the roof and you're and you're done yeah you timed it before right like a minute and yeah yeah 20 takes, seconds yeah, or something me, yeah a minute and 20 seconds yeah. and then tear downs even quicker yeah um you know and and that comes at a price you know i, I think i paid about 250 bucks uh for this tent and i'm overall really happy with it uh the uh that quick setup's really nice. Uh, the the footprint of it's kind of perfect for me. This is the T3, so it's the um, the three person tent, three person. So yeah. that that's one thing you know. Whenever you're looking at a tent, just like with John's, it said two to three people. Yeah, There's no two. way. There's it's two. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the same thing with the Gazelle. Me and both my kids have slept in it, and that's doable. But. Uh, it, three adults would, be, would definitely be pushing it and one one really nice thing about that tent is it feels very spacious inside and that's due to that that hub design mm -hmm. you know those like a hexagon yeah and one of those those four walls kick out so when you're in it it yeah, feels like a freaking cathedral yeah. yeah but when you put down three sleeping bags you're they're they're stacked <clears throat> on top of each other there's no walking room yeah and on that i mean i think that's a good segue into um another pro of the rooftop tent is as far as bedding goes you leave it all in there yeah you know yeah. i leave my sleeping bag yep. in there and my pillow yep i even added uh, a two inch memory foam topper yep. um and i think you'll find with most rooftop tents um you know they they obviously all come with a with a mattress um it, with the smitty bill overlander it's a one inch or one and a half inch piece of crap foam so I, I went on amazon and bought a two inch foam topper and made a world of a difference but point being is that with all that stuff you can still fold it in fold yeah, it out yeah so well, and that's you, the thing right because <clears throat> you know him and i can fold out our tents in about the same amount of time sometimes i'm quicker sometimes mm -hmm. he's quicker depending on whatever bs that we're doing in camp but in reality he's always a little bit quicker because I have to then go get my sleeping bags, my sleeping pads, extra blankets and all that out of, out of my Jeep and then set them up in yeah. the, in the tent. So I have to blow, blow up all the sleeping pads and set it all up where, you know, he folds it all up inside of his tent, yeah. which is another thing too. You think about space. Yeah. You know, yep. you have to, with the, with the ground tent, you got to yep. think about storing your sleeping bag or sleeping bags yep. with multiple people. And that, that's, that's no small task in, yeah. a, in a JK or a JL, you know, what unlimited or not, you know, when you have a cup, even just a couple people mm -hmm. and you have sleeping Spa bags, it's a sleeping premium. Bag, yeah, space, space is a premium. Is a premium. And, uh, you know, sleeping bags take, take up a good <clears> amount of space. So that's something to think about as well. So specifically on the on the gazelle tent, 
Uh, if you're looking at the gazelle tent, if you clicked on this video because you saw a gazelle tent and you're thinking about that, I am overall very happy with the quality of the tent. The, the materials are really good. The, the fabric is, is really strong and feels really sturdy. The zippers are really strong and, and almost oversized. They um, uh, zip up and down, no problems. I've never had a stuck zipper. Uh, one downside though, because of this hub tent design, um, the, the doors are very small. And when you go into those doors, and you can't see them from this angle, but I'm sure we'll throw in some clips of it. Um, you know, you've just got that little that little corner of the tent that you're squeezing into. It's not a big deal for me. I'm I'm fine with it. Uh, but with that, since they are on the corners, so when Chloe and I are doing this together, um, both of our beds are right in the way of the door. So you're stepping onto or over a, a sleeping bag to get in there. And you know, it's just, it's a, it's one of those things when you're buying anything, you're, you're weighing the, the pros and cons. You know, I could have a regular ground tent that has a big old door in the front of it. Um, but then I'm spending, you know, three times as long setting it up. I think that's a good point though, because I think, you know, although with the, you're saying the gazelle door is kind of small mm -hmm. with the rooftop tent, the, I mean, the door is fine. You go up on a ladder, right? Mm -hmm. But you have to, at least with the Smitty built, um, with it's it's long and narrow, so you have to, you know, kind of crawl around in there to get sleep, to get yeah, to where you yeah. want to sleep. And, <clears throat> you know, there was a good example of, we were overlanding a couple months ago, my wife went to bed before us, and I kind of had to, I mean, she woke up, you know, you kind of got to crawl and, mm -hmm. and get, yeah. you know, up in there, so... Yeah. It's just the narrow width of the rooftop is kind of a con. So well, in you, the height, you know, we were talking about that yeah, earlier. Yeah, you can't that, stand. Yeah, you can't stand up. You know, I can I can almost stand completely up in the, in the gazelle, and I'm 5'10", 5'11". Um, if I stand in the middle, I have to hunch down just a little bit, but I can change, uh, stand up comfortably. If I wanted to, I could put a chair in there. Um, but with the rooftop tent, you're, you know, if you're going to change in there, you have to do it sitting down you all know how that goes trying to change when you're sitting down in a bed yeah but just another plus and minus and how's the wind noise with with that i've never had a problem yeah um you know zippers don't rattle um we haven't had where it's wanting to sway back and forth a lot i know that it's a little bit more of an issue in a rooftop tent because yeah. you're higher up yeah we had a couple of windy nights yeah, we. I kind of had a some. I had an issue. No, was it the that thunderstorm? Yeah, yeah. It, check it, out that video. Yeah, that the, was a the, wild the video. Night. Yeah, we were stuck in a thunderstorm. Yeah, I think we were. Uh, yeah, we were over in eastern Washington, and it was crazy. But yeah, we had winds all night, and uh, yeah, the I woke up a couple times to wind noise, but um, it's not terrible. I mean, we had pretty high winds. Well, and you and I are both such deep <clears throat> sleepers. Yeah. You know? A bear could come through our camp and we'd never know it. You do get some zipper rattle. You know, there's things you can do. People, you can tie paracord to yeah, zippers and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then, you know, with, with the Smitty built one, it includes uh, some uh, elastic cord and, and whatnot. You can kind of tie the sides together and the roof down. So if you set that up right, it definitely helps eliminate a lot of the wind noise. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I would say in terms of wind noise, the pro goes to ground, to at least to the gazelle. Yeah. For sure. Your lower or your any any ground tent really yeah 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 well and you know the other thing is just climbing in and out of a rooftop tent yeah can be, can be a pain in the ass and i think that's the biggest con you yeah. want to talk about with the rooftop tent the ladder and climbing is it's that, that middle of the night having yeah to take a leak. you gotta yeah. take you gotta go to the bathroom what did you say the other night you peed on your roto packs yeah <laughs> yeah first of all you can't stand right so you gotta pee in the middle of the night you unzip uh, uh, an entrance or a side or whatever. You're on your knees and you let it fly, right? And it works, but you get dribble. We're guys. Yeah. If you're a girl, sorry, you're screwed. You got to climb down. Yeah. Well, maybe I don't, you could be crafty, but yeah. You, that, the ladders are the biggest con for sure. Yeah. You know, it's well, and if you have a dog or something, yeah. getting your dog up and down there. Or kids. Yeah. It's it can be a hazard. You know, it's it's the biggest con for sure. Uh, when it comes to rooftop tents yeah well but that's what a lot of people like though you know number one it's cool you know you have this yeah. almost like tree fort feel right and that's you, you know, know 
the, and you're up away from the critters and stuff. Right. And yeah, bears can climb. All those critters can climb, but the, um, yeah, the there's a little bit of peace of mind. Yeah, you get peace of mind. You know, obviously the ladders, the ladder is the biggest con, but the pros, it, it's everything, right? Like you set up time. Um, Overall convenience. Convenience, you know, you yeah. and, and another big thing is even today when we got to this campsite, you know, uh, you can you can pretty much camp anywhere yeah. with with a rooftop tent. Yeah. You know, Mike right. has Mike yeah. has got to worry about where's the rig go, where does the tent go? Yeah. Um, you know, you still have to level your vehicle with a rooftop tent or but your ground tent pretty level. But you know, it's easy to level. It's more easy to level a vehicle. Yeah. You know, like even today, I threw down some max tracks behind one of my tires to level it yeah. out. You well, and you don't have to find soft ground. You right. Know, I, I have to find some ground that's, you know, with sleeping pads, which I absolutely recommend. If if you're doing ground tent, get a a backpacker style sleeping pad. They fold up to about the size of a, a Nalgene bottle. Um, so that's not too bad if you're on a little bit of rocks. But, you know, right here, we're in this riverbed. <clears throat> I still have to, I have to find a space that's fairly soft, something that has... You know, just maybe little pebbles, but I couldn't, I couldn't just uh, park on top of these big, big rocks. John can as long as he's level. And that's the other thing is um, I also, when I find a camp spot, I have to find a big enough camp spot, like John said, so I can have my rig and I can have the ground tent and obviously find a, a level space for the ground tent. Where John, I mean, if it's late at night, you've been night wheeling or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, I just need to find a place to sleep. You can find a, a wide spot on the on the trail and just pull off, pull that rooftop tent out, you know, maybe park on your max tracks or whatever to yeah. get it level and, and sleep. Yeah, and if you're if you're overlanding or camping with other people too, it's something you gotta consider. Like I have obviously that's a pro with me is I can camp anywhere, but you know, I'm with Micah who's got the gazelle, so you know, we got to take that into consideration mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, one thing we were talking about is um, <clears throat> the nice thing about a ground tent is storing it in the rig. You know, you don't have to worry about having a hard top and having a rack mm -hmm. and all of that. Um, but that is pretty big, though, right? That That's my point, actually. Yeah. You know, if you buy a cheap $40 tent, you know, it's this big when it's yeah. folded up and you just throw it in the rig. Um, that is the downside to the Gazelle versus other rooftop tents. You mean ground is, tents? Or ground tents, I'm sorry. Um, is it's, it's pretty big when it's folded up. Yeah, uh, you long. can look on YouTube at videos of people doing actual reviews of the tent and showing you, but... It's about the size of a an easy up uh, canopy when it's folded yeah, up. Yeah, lengthwise. It's, yeah, it's long and it's about this big around. Um, I actually store it. I'm lucky enough. My my tire carrier um, makes it so I can store it right on the tire carrier, and it's really convenient for me. Um, but before I realized that I could do that, I was I was strapping it to the uh, to the roll bar and finding all these you know trying to find all these different places that I can store it, but. Uh, that that is an issue with those is you need to make sure you do have the space <clears throat> if you have a rig that um, that's not very long in the back or, or not very wide you might have an issue storing that thing mm -hmm. you know yeah I couldn't imagine storing it in you know if you have a, a super outback or or even a, like just a, a regular runner. a two-door um, Jeep yeah you know Jeep Wrangler and even in like a forerunner or something I think you'd have to yeah. fold down a rear seat, I would imagine. I think so. I don't think it would go across. Yeah. It might go across. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It's Look at the dimensions of stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the T4, if you're looking at the T4, from what I understand, it's even longer and even bigger around. I haven't seen the T4 in person. Uh, it's, you know, their four-person tent, which probably just means that it can fit three, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um I mean, talking about storage, storage itself in the Gazelle is actually really spectacular. Uh, you have, um, you know, the little pockets on every side of it. And then on two of the sides, you have on the, on the triangle portion, and we'll put in footage, but in the triangle portion, you have a, a big mesh area where you can stuff all sorts of stuff. 
Um, it's got a little attic area that you can install. I've never put it on, but in the top portion of it, you can put that and put, and put stuff up top. Um, it's actually, it's a really versatile tent. You know, when Gazelle put these things together, they, they really thought about all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this mini has got a couple pockets. Yeah. Um, nothing huge, but. Something to put your keys, they, they your work. phone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So another thing um, that we've talked about before is just price difference. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times when, when people are doing a ground tent versus a rooftop tent, they're, they're doing it because of the price. You know, you're saying that brand new yours is about 1200 bucks. Which, but, yeah, which is probably, I think, the cheapest one in the market. Yeah, and then you're having to spend, what, at least five or $800 on a roof rack of some kind. Yeah, some sort of yeah. rack to put it on. You know, and this was $250 for this Gazelle. Yeah. Um, and you can get a regular ground tent, like I said, 40 bucks, something like that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think that's, it really comes down to price for a lot of people, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But yeah, you know, we, uh, I think we're, we're both happy with our, our choices. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's no perfect solution. Yeah. It's a thing. There's things that, that ground that you know, I'm jealous of Micah that Micah has yeah. with his, and he's jealous of things I have. Yep, Absolutely. You know, there's no perfect solution. Yep. Well, really to summarize, uh, it, it really just depends on what your needs are. Uh, what your vehicle looks like, uh, the space in your vehicle, the space on top of your vehicle, and your budget. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, and, and what you want. Yeah. You know, because I, part of the really cool thing about a rooftop tent is it's cool. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. It's It's nice. And, it's fun. You know, when you're getting up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. because you got to take a piss... It's not fun. And you're like, I really wish I had a ground tent. But then there's times where we're in a small space or something, or I see Mike is struggling to find a spot to put a tent. And I'm like, glad I got a rooftop yeah. tent, you know? <laughs> so it's, that's, that's really all it comes down to. Yeah. So, you know, do your research. Um, don't just watch this video because we're just a couple idiots that are just uh, out here screwing around. So yeah. do your research and really, uh, really dig into it, especially if you're going to make that big purchase of a rooftop tent. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just like if you're doing suspension and wheels and tires, you you really need to do your research and, and find what really fits for you, fits for your lifestyle. Yeah. So, but anyway, this is uh, I'm Micah and this is John, Cascadia Overland. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, go ahead and look on our playlist and uh, check out some of our videos of on the trail stuff. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Peace.